Alright, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to install CyanogenMod 10 Jelly Bro on your GSM Galaxy Nexus. This is the GSM version. He has it for the Toro and the Toro Plus version. But just download it, then copy it over to your SD card. I downloaded it on my computer because it's faster than downloading it on my uh, phone. Just download it, copy it over, and put it in your downloads or any type of folder. Reboot into recovery. If you don't have this, hold both volume down, up and down, and power when your phone is off, and it'll. What's up with that? Looks weird. And then it'll boot into your uh, bootloader, and then you just use volume down to go to recovery and hit power. It's pretty simple. I still have not flashed a uh, clockwork mod again yet. I was supposed to do that earlier, but I, I forgot. Team wins. Their torque recovery takes a little bit longer. So I am using a 2.2.2. .2 .2. I'm using the latest version. I updated with the Goo Manager app. That's how I installed it. Just all right. What you're gonna want to do is go to Wipe factory reset swipe to wait and then see what clockwork mod you can say yes but all right i'm if you're using clockwork mod recovery just go to wipe data factory reset and then hit yes now go back wipe cache swipe to wipe or just hit yes if you're on clockwork mod Go back and wipe Delvic. This is under advance and then Delvic hash if you're using Clockwork Mod. Go back and then go home, go to install. If you're on Clockwork Mod, go to installs it from SD card, then choose it from SD card. Put mine in the downloads folder. I'm gonna go to downloads and I'm going to look for CM10. <coughs> Excuse me. CM10-2012-9, this is the version for today, which is 9-1-2012. And I'm going to install, make sure it's up there, it's the ROM that you want to flash. Um, it doesn't take that long to install. But as you can see, for Torp, I'm using 2.2.2.0. The latest one with like the on-screen keyboard, uh, I think it said USB OTG or something like that too. Got something. Um, I I am getting an iPod Touch that I'm going to be using to record my videos. Hopefully, it looks a lot better. Um, I'm supposed to be getting that today, but I'm not sure. So, but I should be. Okay, so we're we're gonna want to go back. Now, we're, what we're gonna do want to do is install the G apps from 726. These are the latest Jelly Bean um, G apps. And then just swipe to install. Now just like I did JB Sorcery, I'm going to uh, be using this for a few days. I'll probably make a video Sunday, or Monday, my bad, because I'm, I'm off school Monday for some holiday. So I'm probably gonna make a video for you guys Monday. But there are night not nightlies of this. There is a new ROM for this every single day. So I'm using the 9-1, um, 9-2 is Sunday, not, so I'll be using the 9-3 build on Monday when I do my review, so there might be changes. <clears throat> if there is, I'll point out, I like that boot animation, that is sweet. Let's see if I can get a better focus, there we go. That looks sweet, I like that. That's their new uh, Sign Engine Mod 10 boot animation. It looks much cleaner in person. I haven't really had any issues with like the focus on this camera. Not sure why it's giving me troubles. Kind of see a little bit clearer now, but it, that just looks wow. It's simple, clean. I just want to show you guys that this boots up just fine, you know, no issues, go through setup and show you guys that I'm running 
Um, there are the official Signage and Mod 10 builds, by the way. So if you want to try those out, I mean, th there's those also. This this install guide works for any ROM on the Galaxy Nexus. <coughs> un un unless in like the thread for that ROM, it states that you need to do something besides just wipe factory set, uh, then cache, then Dalvik cache. You may need to format system, maybe, I don't know. If it says that in the uh, the uh, thread for the ROM, then you know that you need to wipe that. Brandon. Don't go stalking me because you know my first and last name. Next. Next and finish. I'll just use this app here. Let's go into settings real quick and let's check about phone to make sure you flashed it right. And right there, Saturday, September 12th. That is the build that I'm running right there. The Fitz Nugly. See, Sun Engine Mod 10 9 1 Skank Magiro build date. It was only about an hour ago, actually. But this was my how to install video. I'm going to be doing a full review of all these tweaks and settings pretty soon. I'm going to show you guys what it comes with in case you're wondering. It does come with torch. Does torch work? It's about time CM10 finally got torch. I like the little strobe light. Oh. So, a little strobe light kind of needs work, but it works. Sweet. Then we have the torch toggle. Alright, this is my install video. I'm going to come back Monday with a, a full review for you guys. And that's pretty much it.